East Coast Flags back again, and today we're, we're going to review the Marvel Legends Amazing Fantasy 15 Spider-Man. Here's a figure out of the packaging, and for start is, I I really enjoyed this figure. I've been wanting a sort of like Dead Girl style, or just um, a red and black classic Spidey. Just basically this figure for a long time, for like years now. Finally, Hasbro ha made it, and, fi I, and I, ha I am happy that they waited until they had, well, they waited and, and then put it on this like brand new body, which is just great so like from what i've experienced so far the like I, I really like i really dig this but this is like definitely a um what would you like a uh, a better version of the pizza spidey body so hopefully just like they reuse the pizza spidey body for like everything they'll use re now they'll use this body because this body is great it's, i mean it's painless and it moves Great, it's got the uh, like diaphragm joint that moves pretty like well. So, yeah, the I really like the uh, the, the specific red, like the dark red it shows. It now it would have been cool that it came with like two eyes, or, like two heads. It would have been cool to get like an unmasked Peter head where it's like he has like the glasses or whatever, or maybe like um, another head with the eyes like really like squinted or something i don't know i it would have been it would have been cool but i don't mind since they gave us so many hands which is always great um but yeah it's got a i think it, it does have drop down um i uh i don't know if it has drop down it looks like it does but uh it's not really dropping down i don't know but um this this figure is really really great out out of the box it moves. It moves pretty fluidly, and you can pay. You can make it do like whatever you really like want. So if you want him in like a like a Superman pose, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, here you go. The also I I do like how they made the spider logo on the back small, and it's not like the like renew your vow spidey where it's so like big and like the butterfly joints you have to paint it and it doesn't like match up with the legs even though it lo it definitely looks odd i i'm perfectly I, I i prefer this to where it doesn't affect like the like it doesn't affect the overall design which it, it looks pretty like nice so dead girl spidey comes with two fist hands and he comes with wall crawling hands. Congratulations, yes. And he comes with two thwipping hands for some thwipping action. And he comes with two gripping hands that are articulated um, like sideways. So it's up and down and not side to side. So, so you can have him swinging with a web. And uh, I'm, I'm surprised it took us this long to get these because these I think these were like made hands. I don't think these are new. They could be new, but it's cool to get like actual web gripping hands for Spidey, and hopefully this also becomes the norm as well. And one more thing he comes with is these is this uh web thing, and apparently this is from like a twenty eighteen like Spider Man toy, but like for kids, like a cheaply made one. I think I'm not one hundred percent sure. That's that's what I've heard other other like reviewers say but um it would it would be cool to get like a new web that doesn't have this weird triangle thing for some reason if you if you guys have seen my video of making custom webbing for spider-man i would not i would but really like for them to do just this be like a circle like a, like the mafex i feel like that would be like much better or just like a basic web line where like you don't have this and both ends both sorry and both ends look like 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 that uh, both ends look like this maybe that would that would be pretty nice yeah. and he comes with sp uh splayed out web armpit things I, I don't know what these are called but usually spidey has these and i do like the idea of spider-man having these sort of like web web cobwebs and like his armpits i think it's a cool thing with the costume 
but I don't think it translates well to the figure form because Legends did this with the uh, the uh, Homecoming Spider-Man the went for the first movie where you had to plug in on the side, but that, that would always like can't like very easily like fall off, and this does too, and it's really annoying. So it, like I like maybe they need to like I wouldn't mind if they made it like if it's like permanently attached to the figure, like the uh, like the black boat. Like, his wings are attached to his arms, and you can't remove them unless you, like, cut them out or, or whatever. So if they made another one like this with these permanently attached, I feel like that would work a lot better and actually move about a lot better. Because I know Toy Biz did one of these, but, like, the, it was like, made out of, like, real, like, netting. And, uh, like, made that, that, part, that they probably should have done that too, but... Uh, maybe maybe cloth is like expensive right now or something, but I don't like how it just looks like this on the back though. I don't know, and these like pop out very easily, so I don't know. They they look cool, but just I wish they were implemented a bit a bit better if that makes sense. And the last thing he comes with is these sort of like resting web armpit things and I, I like these ones a lot more i feel like the like the these ones like attach and like actually stay on the figure a lot better than the the uh like wide like open ones so and i feel like these are like like both of these are kind of like it, it takes a bit to like put like actually learn like oh you put it like this and, and like that and stuff whatever but um i like these i, I do wish it was just a bit more better implemented you know but um i mean see it even on the back it, it looks great so i i definitely prefer um these ones more now his head can move all the way back like this thankfully and it's not like the other spider-man with the weird ball and it can move move all the way down like that which is very nice and he's got it moves his arm move, can move up that far high up which is pretty crazy and then just that far down and then he has butterfly swivel butterfly joints i wish they went a bit more a bit more range i feel like the renew your valve spidey definitely has a more definitely has more range and then he has uh, double jointed elbows that like actually like because his arms are like th so thin and like closes the arm completely which is crazy awesome and then um he has a diaphragm joint he can like oh sorry like just using just that joint he can look like this or he can look that up that that much and he doesn't have like any forward like articulation like barely but if you go but if you use the bottom articulation the uh di the reverse ab crunch he can move back that far and then go hey yo he can go all the way like this and then um his legs go up that high and then to the side he has a uh, thigh swivel his knees go all the way oh damn look at that they're like wow that's pretty crazy he has a boot swivel and he has feet and like hinge and stuff and honestly if you want if you prefer this figure if you have both the we know you battle spend man and this and you prefer this you can easily just remove just the the feet part because the these the, these boots are like actually are like made bigger and like more thicker than this one so that if you want you can remove these feet and put on this one so you could have the uh, toe or articulation which would be cool. Here's how the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man looks like next to the Dead Cup Spider-Man. And it definitely looks like a like high school Peter next to like college, more adult Peter, which is pretty cool to see like a sort of evolution like that with figures. It's, it's pretty nice. Here the Dead Cup Spider-Man next to the Ben O'Reilly. Here is the Dead Cup Spider-Man next to the Iron Spider. And here is the Dead Cup Spider-Man next to the Peter Spider-Man. And uh, very, I feel like we've definitely evolved, like, 
this I feel like the new body looks up more like more more realistic when the pizza spidey looks a bit more like it looks more like a comic figure if that makes sense but I, I, I would prefer the uh, the new Ditko one with the amount of articulation you can get on it and the fact that it just looks a bit more realistic and like like an actual teenager here's the Ditko Spider-Man next to probably the greatest Spider-Man figure ever created the Sentinel Spider-Man and here is the Ditko Spider-Man next to the Mafex 75 and the Mafex Ben Riley Spider-Man. Here is the Ditko Spider-Man next to the greatest Marvel character ever created, Beta Ray Bill. And I I really, really love this figure. The the only problems I had is the sort of lack of, of butterfly joints. I feel like there should have been a bit more, like under Renew Your Bell's body. And the uh, diaphragm joint didn't have a lot of forward or like movement, which so you couldn't really crouch him that far, which which, which sucks. Um, hopefully they are able to fix that issue in the in the future. But overall, this figure is awesome. Definitely the the best version of the sort of dead kill style first appearance on Easy Fantasy Fifteen Spider Man. I don't know how many figures are there of this costume out there. I just know the Toy Biz made one, and th that's that's about it. Um, but yeah, this figure is really, really dope. I I love it. I besides those the two issues I mentioned, it's really, really great. I'd love to see other companies tackle this uh, this costume as well. And uh, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,